Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A13 and today I will show you how you can put this device into a fastbook mode. Now for this we will need a computer and a cable. So let's plug in our device right away. And we can now start off by turning it off. So turn off our phone. Now there's two ways of going about it. You can either try to hold power key and volume up right away once the device turns off. which if it succeeds, which I think it will right now. Yep, there we go. Then that is a shorter version, or if you wait a little bit too long, it will show you a charging status, and you need to wait till it actually shows you the exact percentage. And uh, once you see the exact percentage, the screen dims out a little bit, so you can then start holding it. And once you see the little circle with charging, Holding power key and volume up will not get you anywhere, you just need to basically wait. Or like I mentioned, you can do it before it shows up and it will then take you to the recovery mode. Now from here, using volume keys, we're gonna scroll down one position into reboot to bootloader. It might seem kind of counterintuitive to select a option that isn't fastboot mode, but as you see, once you confirm it with power key, it enters fastboot mode because Samsung doesn't have a bootloader mode because why would you have access to such a thing that it can basically get rid of Samsung's operating system or their Android with their spyware and stuff so uh, yeah we have fastboot mode but no bootloader and they disguise fastboot mode into bootloader for what reasons I have no clue but that is how you boot into it now to leave this mode you need to hold power key and volume down at the same time. And as you've seen I did unplug the device so this will simplify the process a little bit. As you can see the device will turn back on automatically. If it was still plugged in it will uh, not turn on. It will start displaying the charging sequence again and you would have to then hold power key to actually boot it back up. And as you can see, we are now back on Android. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.